Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're pitting two gentlemen's EDC pocket knives against each other. It's the CRKT CEO versus the Civivi Chronic. Let's check them out. Both of these knives are narrow office EDCs, barely larger than a nice ink pen. They're gentlemen's knives with long, narrow blades, and they fall firmly into the executive knife category. And both of them are affordable enough for just about anyone to carry. At this point in time, the CRKT CEO comes in at 40 bucks, while the Civivi Chronic is just a few dollars more at 48.50. Although you can option it up to 78.80 for the more premium version that I've got in my hands right here. The blade length is very similar between the two as well, about three and an eighth of an inch on the CEO and three and three sixteenths on the Chronic when you measure them from the tip to the leading edge of the scale. But the CRKT manages to pull ahead on the amount of usable edge. Now, in one of those weird twists that you see in the knife world now and then, because the heel of the edge goes farther back than the front of the handles, it actually has a full three and three sixteenths of an inch of sharpened edge, which is a full sixteenth inch more than its supposed blade length. And that's just one of those things that makes actually defining blade length a challenge these days. Looking back to the other knife, because the Civivi Chronic features a large choil here in front of the finger tab, which isn't quite big enough to fit a full finger in, by the way, this knife only features about two and seven eighths of an inch of edge. That's more than a quarter inch behind the CEO, but because of the blade steel that they use here, it's probably going to last longer. That's because the CEO comes with 8CR13 MOB steel, an entry level stainless that's easy to maintain, and it does give solid performance for the money. In the meantime, the Chronic actually comes with two different steel options. When we look at the base model here, the blade is made from 9CR18 MOV steel. Now, admittedly, that does sound awful similar to the 8CR13 that you see in the CRKT, but it is a different steel and you should get more edge retention with the 9CR. To put it in terms of steel that you may be more familiar with or terms that may be easier to compare, you can think of 8CR as being equivalent to OS8, while the 9CR is more like 440C and you'll be right in the ballpark. Now, as an upgrade, the Chronic can be had with a stainless Damascus blade. And according to our reps, the base of their formula for this Damascus is also 9CR. And they tell us that the performance, again, should be similar to a well heat treated 440C blade, just with the added good looks of the pattern welding. Now, as far as cutting performance between the two, let's take a look at their edge geometries a little closer. The CRKT CEO starts with a thinner blade stock. It's about 0.09 inches thick and it features a mid-height flat grind and a long swedge on a very narrow blade. The Civivi Chronics blade starts a little bit thicker, about 0.12 inches thick, and the blade profile is wider too, and they grind it with a high hollow grind. This keeps the thickness behind the edge itself thinner than on the CEO, and with that hollow grind, your initial slicing performance is probably gonna be a little more effortless, since the CEO's blade is slightly more wedge-shaped. Now, it's not to say that the CEO really drags all that much, and for any sort of cuts where you need to go around a corner, the narrower blade is going to be able to more easily make those transitions, aided there too by that long swedge along the spine, which removes a bit of drag. Now the initial sharpness on both of these knives are excellent, by the way. Both of them were hair popping sharp right out of the box. And the tip on both knives should be very useful too for any sort of day-to-day -day tasks. Now obviously they're not going to be strong enough to stab through a car door, and, you know, if you want something like that, go buy a cold steel, but they're thin and acute and great for opening packages and letters. Now the Chronic achieves this with a nice clip point shape, while the CEO features a straight back blade, and in fact along with the straight handle it definitely gives off a Quaken style vibe. Now the blade on each, when folded up, nestles very deep into the handle, with only the flipper tab and just a hint of the spine visible on the Civivi and only the thumb stud visible on the CRKT. The blade disappears completely on this knife. This helps them maintain a low visual presence and helps them stay unobtrusive when they're in your pocket too. On that note, both knives feature a deep carry clip, right in line with their mission of being unseen or unnoticed until you need to cut something. The Chronix clip keeps the blade in a tip up orientation and you can reverse it to either side of the knife and carry it on either side just as easily. While the CEO's clip is a right side tip down carry only, and it should be even easier to slide into your pocket when you're putting the knife away too. For one thing, the screw heads are kept flush with the surface of the clip so that they're not sticking out to potentially snag on anything, and it also features a small ramp molded into the handle itself to guide your pocket hem over the clip, and that keeps the edge of the clip from snagging as well. Now the Chronix clip on the other hand features no such ramp and the screw heads are sticking up a little bit, so depending on the thickness of your pants, it may take a little more effort to fully seat the knife. 
Really though, that's only a comparison when it comes to these two knives. It's certainly gonna carry very easily despite that, and there's a lot of knives out there that do it just the same way. Now, as far as the handle materials, the CEO makes do with glass reinforced nylon. It's got a bit of a contour on both sides too, which helps it to feel not so blocky in the hand. It also features a repeated radial pattern. And for one thing, this does give it a hint of texture so that it isn't slippy, but it also creates a nice look. It's not quite like carbon fiber, although the vibe is very similar and it feels very classy as a result. Now the base Chronic models feature G10 and you can get them in a few different colors. It's got more of a workhorse vibe with a little bit more texture than the CEO, but if you wanna stay on the classier side, the Damascus version features a G10 laminate that has a top layer of carbon fiber. Now the handle shape on the Chronic is definitely a little bit blockier, but it's not uncomfortable. For one thing, it's a little bit wider than the CEO. And secondly, each of the edges features a wide chamfer. It creates sort of an octagonal handle shape. Now when you combine that with the clip point blade, you can kind of think of the Chronic as a folding Bowie knife. Kind of a funny observation there, since the Chinese company is emulating an American blade, while the American company takes its cues from an Asian knife pattern. Now the handle space is a little shorter on the Chronic. There's about three and three quarters of an inch behind the flipper tab, and it's just enough for me to get a full grip. But if you want more, the CEO does offer more length, a full inch more in fact. Definitely plenty of length there to get a large grip on. Now one more difference between the two comes into play at the end of the handles. The Chronic features a small G10 backspacer that sticks out of the end just slightly, and combined with a hole there and a small pocket in the handles, they leave a nice spot to attach a lanyard, either for convenience or for style. Now the CEO lacks any kind of lanyard hole, and instead it places a small steel pommel at the end of the handle. Now when you combine that feature with the narrow profile of the CEO overall, the knife actually reminds us a lot of an old doctor's knife. You know, the old slip joints that you'd see from the folks like Case Knives, because the pommel there would make a great pill crusher. Now that construction, that solid piece of steel back there, eliminates the need for any other kind of backspacer or standoffs, which keeps the back of the CEO open and easy to keep clean. And actually both knives ought to be pretty easy to clean. Even though the Civivi does have a backspacer, it is pretty minimal. All right, let's get back to the blades, because that's what we're here for, right? Each one is held open with a liner lock, but they diverge a lot when it comes to their opening styles. Now when it comes to the Chronic, this is definitely not a two-hand opening knife. It's a one-hander only. It's the flipper way or the high way. Because there's only a little bit of the spine sticking out, there's pretty much no way you're going to be able to grab the blade with your offhand. Although if you were really trying, I can get just the tip of my fingernails in there and, and pull it out, but it's really deliberate and you're really not going to want to be doing that. Now when it comes to the flipper, the action is excellent because we've got a nice set of ball bearings in the pivot, makes for fast and easy deployment. Now the CEO lacks a flipper and instead it comes with a single thumb stud which nestles here in a cutout in the handle. Now in addition to one hand opening, this also enables two handed opening if you found the need to be less flashy or more discreet when you're opening the blade. Because some of the folks you might be around may not appreciate you flicking your blade around. Now in the pivot, we also see ball bearings with this knife. It's CRKT's IKBS bearing system. And even though it lacks a flipper, that does not hold this knife back. The CEO actually thumb flicks in very satisfying fashion. Thanks to that thumb stud placement, the leverage is perfect for sending the blade out in a snap. So in the end, setting apart the differences in the designs, with similar action, the biggest differentiator between these knives are the materials, but that's only part of the equation. In the end, what a company does with those materials makes a big difference. Although the Civivi comes with arguably premium features such as the layer of carbon fiber and the Damascus option, the CEO, while it certainly feels a little quote unquote cheaper, does not feel cheap. Each of these knives is well built and tightly executed. So at this point, only one question remains. Which one of these knives would earn a place in your pocket? Do you go for the narrower and less expensive CRKT CEO? Or would you go for the flipping satisfying Chronic? And would you go for the base model or step up to the Damascus carbon fiber version? Or maybe something else in a similar vein? Be sure to let us know in the comments and to get your hands on either of these great knives. We're gonna leave links in the description below to take you over to knifecenter.com. And I say it a lot, but make sure you're signed up for our Knife Rewards program while you're there, because if you're gonna buy one of these knives anyway, you might as well earn some free money for your next one. I'm David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, signing off. See you next time. Okay. Nine CR beans, please. Well, this is gonna start off well. My eyelids st got stuck and was like. <laughs> 440 beanless? It's a, it's a CPM breakfast blend. We're okay, we're okay. I'm using that.